Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, my name is Audrey, and today I have for y'all another Boobladon haul. So it's been a little while since I brought y'all anything from them, so I was so excited to be able to put this together. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. Like always, everything you need is going to be in the description box down below. I do provide my measurements, links sent to me from Boobledon. They just let them know who sent you. Um, and I will be showing you the pictures from online here. I do include the prices. That is without any coupon codes or sales or any of that. And I show you the trial and portion. It'll all be playing right over here. So everything you need is going to be in the description box down below. But if I missed anything, just leave me a comment and ask me whatever you need to. And I will try my best to get back to you. So the first piece that we're going to talk about, I'm going to show y'all these little denim shorts, more of a chambray type feel, a little bit heavier weight than a chambray, usual chambray material, but these I paired with a red bodysuit that I already had. I also have a pair of jeans that I'm going to show you that I also paired with that red bodysuit that I already had because I just wanted you to focus on the bottoms for this part. So for these, I went with the 2X, as y'all can see. The material is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Pull on elastic waist drawstring short. And they're so, so comfortable, y'all. <laughs> they're so comfortable. So plenty of stretch in the waist. The drawstring does go all the way around your body so you can make it as tight as you need it or as loose. You have pockets here in the front with the little flaps. So you just lift that up and there's your pocket. The back is flat so you don't have any pockets on the back and the length of these are really nice as you can see we're probably in the trial part now they're not too short not too long they don't ride up when you walk around you know how that happens sometimes plenty of room in these and I do carry weight in my lower belly these do not pull they're not too tight when you sit on them they're just fine so I really really like these I think they may have a few other colors in these definitely perfect for spring and summer very very comfortable you if you're out swimming you can throw these on over your swimsuit they're just really really nice and that cotton just makes it so much nicer but y'all love these shorts they are just a huge win for me and the next pair of bottoms that I'm going to show y'all, I do wear these in several parts of this try on haul, but I just wanted you to see it now, just see it up close. So these are just regular old high-waisted denim jeans, and I went with the 2X, as y'all can see here, and they are... 75% cotton, 23% polyester, and 2% spandex. So they are your regular old one button zip closure jeans. And what I really like is they have this little studs right here, just like the button here. So you kind of button detail right here at the pockets, functioning pockets in the front and functioning pockets in the back. A little bit of, not really distressing, but just a little bit right here at the booty and a little bit at the thigh here with some of the whiskers. So really cute, not a skinny, skinny leg where you can't bend your knee, but they are fitted and so comfortable. Plenty of stretch in these. Um, honestly, for a 2X, I would say they're a generous fit. Um, I had them on, like I said, several different parts of this haul and they were really stretchy, really comfortable, not too tight at all. So if you're a little bit smaller than me, you could easily go with a 1X. Thing about their clothing is the sizing is perfect, perfection, always has been, always will be. So true to size, I would say more more in line with if you went to like a brick and mortar store here in the US, if you went to a brick and mortar store, that's the size that you would get with them. So just keep that in mind and keep an eye on the measurements and any reviews that may be on there just to kind of help you. But I always go by my measurements and compare them to the measurements for each individual piece on their site. So I usually tend to get dressier as my hauls go, but this one, I wanted to, since we're talking about bottoms, I wanted to show you this skirt instead of saving it for the end um, because I have some really pretty tops in this haul that I kind of want to focus on because I don't really do a whole lot of separates. I do a lot of dresses and things like that. So I want to really talk about these tops because they're just beautiful. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you this skirt and I paired it with a top and then we're going to go into the rest of them. <laughs> so for this 
little pencil skirt, I went with the 2X, as y'all can see. And I'll tell y'all the truth, I had this one before. So you, some of y'all may recognize this one. I did have this one before, but that one is too big now. So I did go with the 2X in this one. It is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It is just your basic elastic waist pencil skirt. Black with white polka dots. No split up the back or anything. You just pull this one on and that is it. So really, really nice stretchy. Y'all can see it is a stretchy, stretchy skirt. So really comfortable and not too short. It's a little bit shorter than other pencil skirts that I've had, but not a mini. It's nothing like that, but it's not knee length like a lot of them are, but really love the black and white, the polka dot. It's just so pretty and so different and you could do so many different things with it. But what I paired it with is this really beautiful blouse. So I have this really soft white blouse and for this one I went with the 1X and I will get you the material, it's so nice. So this one is 100% polyester, but it is the softest fabric ever. It's very silky, but not, oh, it's just, it's beautiful. I love this one. I will tell y'all, when I took it off, I hit my, I got lipstick on it. <laughs> so if y'all see that, there it is. I did get some lipstick on it, but I'll get it out, don't worry. So this one, you do have bust starts here. You've got one button closure here. I did have to unbutton it to get it over my head, but there is the button closure there. And then you have the attached little, almost a little necktie or scarf, however you wanna think about it. But that is attached right here. I'm sure you could put it in a bow, but I don't, I didn't want to because one is longer than the other. I think it's meant to be this way but you have your elastic right here at the sleeve and it's a pretty long length of a blouse. I do show it untucked first just so you can see it. Now it is a little on the sheer side, but nothing that you can't wear a little silky tank underneath with and be fine. But if you're gonna pair it with a blazer, you really don't have to do that unless you're gonna take your blazer off. Then, then you may wanna layer up a little bit, but it's so beautiful. It's very delicate and just soft and I loved it with this pencil skirt. But again, you could do trousers, anything you want to with this but I really liked it tucked into that black and white pencil skirt I just thought it was just perfect so great piece to have a really nice it's lightweight so going into the warmer seasons at least here you would still be comfortable and look dressy so I have four pieces left in this haul and they are all tops so I'm gonna go in order of favorite so that's just the best way that I can do it because so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one it is a true wrap top so I have shown y'all a lot of wraps on this channel so this one I went with the 1x I hope it focuses so y'all can see 1x 100% polyester so this one like I said it is a true wrap so this piece here with the longest string attached to it goes into I'm gonna show you for anybody that's new here and isn't quite sure there's a little hole right here under the right arm so right at your waist on the right side just look for this tiny little hole right there and then you just string this through the inside here and then it comes out on the outside of the shirt you bring it around and you tie it to the string that's attached to the other side so love a true wrap because you have so much control with this but one of the problems that i tend to have with a wrap is that it it sticks out too much at the top you end up having to wear a camisole or layering it or pinning it they thought about that and they put you a little modesty snap right in here so once you get it all wrapped up get it as tight as you want it to be or as loose as you want it to be if it is popping open you can just snap that little snap and you are covered so love this love the pattern it's black background with those really pretty orange flowers with the green leaves i did pair this with those jeans that we talked about just a little bit ago and i thought it was beautiful but if you had some black maybe skinny ankle pants something like that it would be really really cute too i just think you have so many different like everything else you have different options with these pieces you can dress them up or definitely dress them down this one in particular i think i would either do jeans and black flats like i did or go a little dressier with some black ankle pants and now the next top i have in this haul is this really cute kind of a blush pinky brown so this one is a little peplum top and I went with the 1X, as y'all can see. I believe this one's gonna be polyester too. 100% polyester. So for this one, you do have functioning buttons 
Down to the waist here, you have really pretty pleating right up here, or pin tucks, I think is what they're called. You do have those at the bust too. They also provide you with an extra little button in case you lose one along the way. It is sewn into the material tag right here. And you have a little bit of elastic in the waist, not too, too much. And one really good thing about this one is you have those flutter sleeves. So you don't have to worry about the sleeves being too tight or any of that. This is just a really pretty top to wear. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I do show it with those darker denim jeans, but you could always put these with some white jeans and it would be gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I just think it is so pretty. I love this color. And with those really pretty flowers, it has a little bit of a vintage type look to it because it's kind of dainty, just like the white one is. But I love the flowers on this. It is absolutely gorgeous and definitely going to be a piece to wear this spring. And now the next top in this haul, I have another peplum. Y'all know I love my peplums. <laughs> but here it is. So it's almost a... It's a pinky salmon type color. I think it's listed as pink, but it is a little bit more of a pinky coral salmon kind of color. So y'all, if y'all hear a bunch of ducks, I'm really sorry. There's some baby ducks out there, some new baby ducks, and you know, <laughs> the mamas are out there fighting. So here it is. I went with the 1X in this one and the material, this is really stretchy and soft. It's so nice. So this one is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Love this top. Now the sleeve is just right on that line of being a little bit snug, not tight, not uncomfortable, but it did start to pull just a little bit right up here, but nothing bad. Really is so cute, y'all, and I love that the peplum part here is long enough. And I did pair this one with some white jeans that I already had, some little white skinny jeans, and I loved it. It's just the prettiest color combination to me. I just think it's so pretty and springy and light. But love this one. Again, it's really, really stretchy. A little bit on the thinner side, so I would say wear nude or even a white bra with this just because I did have on a tan one and I did notice it through it. So I did have to switch it up and change my undergarments with this one. But so pretty, y'all. So well made. You've got the bust starts here. That fitted waist right here just gives you the perfect silhouette. So highly recommend this one. That's why it's almost here at my top piece in this haul, but the next one coming, that's probably my all-time favorite in this video. And here it is. This is the last piece in this haul. So here is my favorite piece y'all. I love this. It is so pretty and it's so simple, but it's just really sweet and I just love it. So for this one again, I went with the 1X and the material in this one. I'm guessing it's going to be polyester. 100% polyester. So for this one, you do have functioning buttons right here. They are the string ones. So they have the little strings that go around the buttons. And y'all, this is just the softest. It is polyester, 100% polyester, but it is so soft and just nice. But y'all look at the flowers. They are just gorgeous. And again, a little bit of a very feminine, vintage type touch to this. And I think I must have had a shirt like this when I was younger. And it just reminds me of it because it's just so pretty, but it feels familiar <laughs> in a way. But y'all, again, it is a peplum. You've got your really pretty short sleeves, but not cap sleeves. And the sleeves in this one are perfect. They are not too tight at all. No stretch in this material, but every little detail. You've got pleating right here at the shoulder. You've got that V-neck with those really pretty fabric covered buttons and it comes down into the peplum here and it is just adorable. I love this. I don't, I don't know. It is just so pretty to me and I felt so pretty in it and it's just really nice. Now I did not layer a tank top underneath this. You may want to. It's not, it's not terribly thin. It's just a white fabric. You know, you have that sometimes, but I mean, I didn't feel like you could see through it, but if for comfort, if you wanted to, you could always put a little white camisole underneath this. But again, I didn't and the sun was shining and I don't think there was any problems with it. But that piece is definitely got to be up there with my favorite. I love that top. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today in this Boobladon haul. And again, y'all, a huge, huge thank you to Boobladon for providing these pieces for me. Uh, like I said, I've shown y'all their stuff a few times on my channel and I'm so glad to bring them to you again. 
so, so impressed and I am just so excited to have these pieces, especially those tops. I don't have a whole lot of separates, so I'm really, really excited to have some new ones to add to my wardrobe. So y'all, thank you so, so much for being here and spending your time with me. I appreciate all of y'all's support and love and I just, I love doing this. Y'all know I do. I love bringing y'all pretty clothes. So y'all, thank you so, so much for allowing me to be able to do this. So y'all, thank you for being here. And y'all, until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. Bye.